Hitler's Beth Garden Chalet, a fire blackened wreck. Rubble mocks the ex-Führer's memory from his favorite window and in the room where he plotted to enslave the world. In a mountain cave near Berchtesgaden, Goering's secret treasure trove was located by American soldiers. In this Aladdin's cave of stolen art treasures, everything that glitters is gold. The fat crook pretended he paid for everything, including sacred pictures looted from churches. 50 million pounds worth of Europe's treasures, gathered together by an overfed bully who once blurted out, when I hear the word culture, I reach for my gun. Now they're on show to GIs, with Goering's private art director acting as guide. He's out of a job, for the Allies will eventually return all these proceeds of banditry to their true owners. Not so much of a treasure is Goering's wife, ex-actress Emmy Sonneman, captured with their seven-year-old daughter Edda, named after Mussolini's favorite daughter. At Suicide Villa, Lüneburg, where the wife of William Hawhaw Joyce was later found, Heinrich Himmler bit on a file of cyanide, identical with this one found in his kit, and died instantly. His unutterable crimes make it hard to speak even of his corpse with restraint. Five million deaths lie at this man's door. He and his SS represent an evil unparalleled in world history. Buried now in a nameless and dishonored grave, this was Himmler's last killing.